What is up guys, welcome back into the channel. If you are new, thank you for stopping in today. Hopefully you guys can tell that that is a tractor behind us and not a pickup truck. Um, yeah, we're actually gonna be doing a little service work on the uh, 185 today. Uh, my great uncle had a dealership, Alice Chalmers dealership way back when. That's what we farm with, that's what he farms with. Um, this is one of, I think, we have a D19, the 185, that D17, which actually is getting ready to be sold. Um, we have a 7010, but this tractor is kind of the tractor that does it all. Uh, we use it to load hay, use it to haul the gooseneck around the hay field to pick up the bales. Because we have this little neat contraption back here, you can just go right up underneath the gooseneck tongue, lift it, and take off. But no, this is a six cylinder diesel. Um, we're gonna try and get this thing fully serviced today, change oil, um, grease everything up, probably get it washed just to get it ready for hay season. So I figured why not bring you guys along since I mean, we don't really do much of this. Um, you guys seen a little bit of the hay um, side of our farm, but mostly on my channel, it's a lot of GM trucks, hence the name. But we're gonna go ahead and get this thing dialed in. Um, we have oil filters there. We have a bunch of parts here that need to go on our other equipment, and then we have oil and stuff there that we're actually gonna be obviously changing in this thing. So without further ado, guys, Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm not sure. I don't know how many farmers are out there. But I figured I'd change it up a little bit on the channel. Um, but we do have a lot of stuff in store for the junkyard dog. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, be sure to go back and watch that video. We picked up a new truck. Um, yeah, so we got a lot of stuff coming for it. But we're going to go ahead and jump in on this thing here and get into it. Drain plug is out, oil is draining. Now we're gonna move on to the filter. On this tractor, um, it says to change the oil every 75 hours and the oil and filter every 150 hours. So every 150 hours you have to change this filter. I don't think we put maybe, maybe 75 hours on this tractor in a year. Um, but what we do here on the farm is we like to write down all the engine hours and the date. I'll climb up here and show you guys. So here is, hopefully you guys can see it due to, there's the hour meter. It's correct working 2,964. So I went ahead and wrote that on top of the filter there and I put the date, like I said, just so we know every time. Um, so we're not guessing or anything. But next, like I said, I'm gonna take this off, um, let it drain down into the bucket, and then we'll put uh, some oil on our new O-ring there, screw this on. We'll grab our oil from over there, our diesel weight oil, um, fill it, and then we'll be good to go. And then I'm gonna go through and grease everything up, make sure it's good to go, and then we'll give her a quick wash and stuff, and then on to the next tractor. Ryan 
So the tractor's outside, guys. Sorry I got interrupted. The old guy that's looking up buying our other tractor came. He took it for a test drive and stuff like that. But when we change the oil, um, we have this container here. It's four quarts. I don't know how old this thing is, but I'm guessing it's older than I am. And I'm 22 years old. I'm guessing this is grandpa's from way back when. But it makes it really nice because it's four quarts. I fill it all the way to the top. Like I said, the uh, 185 takes 13 quarts of oil if you change the, the oil filter as well, um, which we did. So I put um, 12 quarts of oil in it, and then I put some of the heavy duty oil stabilizer just to lube everything up again. Um, the tractor only has 2,900 hours, so I mean, that's not very many for that being, I think it's an 80s model. But we went ahead and did that, so it's got right at 13 quarts with everything in it. Um, I'm going to wait to pull it in to wash it because he just took it out, off down the road on the other tractor. But um, we're going to pull it in, wash it. I went around and greased everything in. When I'm like servicing tractors or pickups or anything, guys, um, you guys always want to, like, if you're underneath of um, your truck looking at um, your tie rods, ball joints, stuff like that, just keep an eye out for like broken bushings and stuff. This is grease. Obviously when you pump new in, the old kind of squirts out. But just keep an eye on that. Like if you guys are servicing stuff at home, um, just watch for wear and tear on stuff. Just kind of look everything over. Give it a little, little jiggle and shake and stuff. If it moves, it probably needs to be replaced. Um, but we went ahead and greased everything down, check the coolant. Uh, we're not gonna change the hydraulic fluid or transmission fluid just because like I said, we don't put very many hours on these tractors. And uh, I think it says change it every, once every um, year, depending on, it says depending on how rough you use them or how, how hard you use them. But um, we'll probably wait to change. We'll get this uh, all fixed up. And then once he gets back and gets the tractor back in there and leaves, I'll get this pulled in. We'll start washing it. So stay tuned guys.
there we go we have a clean tractor i hope you guys enjoyed this video of me just kind of light maintenance work on it uh, we changed you engine oil and the filter checked everything over greased everything um, checked the transmission fluid and hydraulic fluid i'm um, not going to change that stuff just because it we don't use this tractor hardly and it still looked good um, i know the book says change every year depending on how rough you you are with it but i already talked about all that but no i'm gonna let this dry we have the fan running you'll let this dry come back put a nice wax coat on it maybe throw some tire shine on it um, just to kind of dress it up a little bit um, still got some a little bit of dirt on the um, tires are but that's no big deal it's gonna get dirty when we back it out anyway because we've it's been gloomy and rainy the past couple days but um no that tractor's done we'll move on to the next one and start getting like the square baler and stuff like that in here as well getting it all cleaned up but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember learning as i do doing what i love on the gma i'll catch you guys in the next one peace